Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Mendez and I'm here recording my persuasive speech for my effective speaking class, so I hope you enjoy my persuasive speech. Ever since this year began, I'm pretty sure a lot of us thought it was going to be a smooth sailing for many of us. And we always think that during every new year. But boy were we wrong on this one. There have been many ups and downs to have happened this year, but the biggest downside to this year has been the emergence of a new virus called COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Ever since this virus started to pop up late last year, uh, many of us didn't really know of that it was a new virus, mostly because it had very similar symptoms to your average flu or even allergies and colds. And uh, according to the CDC, like it does have very similar symptoms, which includes body fatigue, fever, aches, chills, um, a cough, and basically the works. However, believe me, it is more dangerous than your average flu. And this is mostly because the virus seems to do more damage to your body and uh, it seems to affect uh, a lot of people and specifically the people who are affected mo the most with this virus are people who have had pre-existing medical conditions and even people who are elderly and heck, even sometimes children have been affected by this badly. And what's worse about the virus is that it seems to can spread very fastly and very easily as well. And it can often stay on surfaces for a good amount of time as well if they are not unclean. But worst of all, we do not have a vaccination as of right now for the virus. And because of this, many individuals have sadly lost their life to this virus all over the world. In response to the virus and what's going on with it, many of our world leaders have issued guidelines to help combat the virus. And some of these include wearing a facial mask whenever we go out to do um, either work or even go to the store or such. Um, not gathering in large crowds or just like putting a hold on specific gatherings. And also issuing stay at home orders like um, whenever we feel that we are sick or basically have symptoms that may seem similar to COVID. And ever since these guidelines have been in place, it has actually worked for the most part. And the, the virus seems to have like had a very slow spread. And people who are basically practicing these are often pretty much healthy. However, for the most part, there have been some very big naysayers to this virus, and they often believe that many of these guidelines do not work and they do not want to properly follow them, which I personally do not believe. So for my persuasive speech, I have decided to talk about um, why following these guidelines are very important and why they can keep us both safe and healthy, and how if we do not follow these guidelines, it can actually lead to some repercussions for us. What I'd first like to discuss is face masks. Face masks have actually been very helpful in with us uh, in terms of combating this virus because it seems that COVID can actually spread through whenever we're talking or um, whenever we're shouting and basically it's spreading like that. It can even spread through our sneezes. And according to an article by Dr. Robert Michaels on why it's important to wear a face mask, um, it's very important with this since he gives an example that if two people are often wearing masks, it can actually help lower the probable transmission of COVID. But if one person is not wearing a mask and the other person is, it, there's a bigger chance of possibility of spreading the disease. So it is important to wear a face mask because that way we do not spread the disease through airborne activity. Another factor that is very important is also social distancing and not gathering in large places. It seems to like it's very important we do not gather as much in big crowds because we can often spread easily. The virus can often spread easily through that way and it has been a big case for that. And uh, according to an article recently by um, Katie McKillen on four reasons why we should take social distancing very seriously is that um, she gives an example where we can actually spread the virus without even knowing we have it. And so that has actually been a big reason why to um, the why those viruses actually spread faster and it's spread in larger amounts. It's because we've been in big crowds without following guidelines. So that is a very important factor towards uh, battling the virus is not uh, basically being in big crowds. Another big important factor is staying home when you're sick. Now, I know a lot of us are basically staying home in general to protect ourselves, but we can still often go out if we want to, like go to the store, or eat outdoors. However, it's important to never go out right now if you're sick, especially with symptoms that seem very similar to COVID because 
we can often spread like that. So it's important to quarantine yourself at home. And according to um, healthychildren.org, that's uh, for a family site, it's important to, to uh, even uh, protect ourselves because if we have symptoms that show that we may have COVID, we can spread it towards others and we can make others uh, probably get the virus. So it's often important to um, do follow this stay at home order. So what's been the case for people who have not really followed these guidelines well? Well, here's the thing. These guidelines work when they're all together. We need to make sure we're following them all properly. And if we don't, it can lead to a bigger spread of the viruses. And sadly, there's been large gatherings that have been happening as of late, and especially stay-at-home protests against the COVID guidelines. And even uh, in a recent news or in a news article that uh, appeared the, earlier this year in April, there was a big rally for a stay-at-home uh, protest, which had 1.5 thousand people. Yikes! And many epidot um. Um, basically, a scientist predicted that it would cause a um, a big viral outbreak, and when you know it, it actually did lead to a viral outbreak. And sadly enough, there's actually been recent big gatherings uh, for political protest, which have actually caused many, many people to get sick and uh, catch the virus. So that obviously shows what happens when we don't follow the guidelines. So overall, I think what I'm just trying to say is it's important that we follow these guidelines to protect ourselves and protect others. These guidelines have actually worked for the most part in protecting us from getting the COVID virus. And if we do not follow them very properly and we we just decide to not take care of ourselves, we might catch this virus. And yes, if we can probably get better from it, but there are others that may be badly affected. So please, Please just follow these guidelines because they are very important to all of us and to help make sure all of us stay healthy. So my audience, I leave off with this. Please follow the guidelines because they keep us safe. And for crying out loud, please wear your mask. Thank you so much. That's been my persuasive speech. Have a good day.